Okay, welcome everyone. Happy Easter to you all. I hope you're having a great day with family and friends. Just wanted to release a quick video, as I said, on Google Display Remarketing. So this is going to be just the quick little strategy on how to get your Google Display Ads for remarketing up and running. So you're able to follow your visitors all around the web and maximize your chance of getting good conversions at a high ROAS. So you're probably asking why run Google Display Network remarketing ads? So you can build powerful lists in Google Analytics and you can utilize those, share them across into Google Ads and then build remarketing lists from those. So you're able to target people in different stages of the funnel. So just like in Facebook, you can break that down, you know, add to cart, viewed content, things like that. You're able to do the exact same thing within Google. So it's super powerful, as you already know, if you're running Facebook ads, to also do this on Google. So you're targeting a completely different buyer in a completely different area. And if you're using those both together, you're going to see great results. So next reasons, obviously, you can follow people around the internet. So 92% of people visit a website for reasons other than buying. So as you know, most people will go onto your website and not buy. So your conversion rate is obviously going to be even less than that. But that most people are visiting a website without the intention of buying. So you've got to keep following them around to keep them coming back to make sure that you've got a good chance of winning that customer. So brand awareness. So Google Display Network is huge. It covers 90% of the internet. So it's phenomenal for brand awareness. And obviously on top of remarketing ads, I do suggest that if you're building a brand, that you're also running display ads to cold traffic. So the next reason is it's visual. So just like Facebook is disruption marketing, the Google Display Network becomes disruption marketing and it's highly visual. So you can make banners and really attractive images to draw your customers in and make sure they visit your website. So here's just a little view of what types of Google Display ads there are. So there's text only ads, you've probably seen those. There's the Gmail ads. They're quite effective for business to business uh, products. App ads, people are using apps all the time. So those ads are really good for brand awareness. So they're not necessarily gonna to lead to conversions. And so that's a big part of uh, the display network. So view through conversions is something that you will wanna monitor down the track. And I'll cover that off in a later video. But basically, a lot of your conversions aren't necessarily gonna come directly from that ad. But what's gonna happen is they're gonna see the ad and they may come back later through a different avenue and buy from you. So that's definitely a metric you wanna monitor down the track, but let's keep things simple. So yeah, the last thing is obviously banner ads. So that's the visual aspect that I mentioned. So what audiences can you target? So first and foremost, in the Google Display Network, go and build the audiences I showed you in the last video in Google Analytics. So things like all website visitors, cart visitors, smart lists, there's so many options in there, play around with that. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna build, we're gonna build different ad groups for different people at different stages of the funnel and different and test different audiences just like you would within Facebook. Uh, other things you can do with the Google Display Network aside from remarketing is Google builds these automatic lists that are just like lookalike audiences and they're based on the audiences you build in Google Analytics. So they can be super powerful if you want to run to, I guess, cold traffic that's slightly warmer. And the next part is you can also do cold interest-based targeting. So Google's got some pretty cool demographic-based data and interest. So they collect obviously a, a, a lot of data. So you're able to then target people based on different interests and you can run display ads directly to those. Again, you've got that visual aspect, so really, really good. So what are the essential elements of a good you know, Google Display Network remarketing ad? So, or just a Google Display Network ad in general. So you need a killer headline, attention grabbing image, an irresistible offer, and a clear call to action. So very, very similar to how I would run a Facebook ad, you need these four elements there to be successful. So I'm gonna now show you how to build this within the Google Ads dashboard. Okay, so once you're in the dashboard, just click the little plus here, click new campaign, select sales, and we're gonna obviously select the display network as your campaign type. We're gonna do a standard display campaign. If you wanna do Gmail campaigns, totally up to you, and click continue. So just name this, you know, remarketing display ad, and just select whatever countries that you operate in. I'm just going to leave it as Australia for now. Leave English there. Bidding strategy. So I want to, we want to focus on conversions and let's manually set the bids. So you can down the track once you have a bit more data use automatically maximize conversions. But for now, let's manually set bids. Or if you're a bit more experienced and want to select a different strategy, go for gold. The only other ones I would recommend are target CPA or target ROAS and they're only once you have a bit more data. But let's leave it as max. Uh, as manual CPC for now. 
the budget sequel the budget's going to totally depend on how much traffic you get so i do suggest starting off with something like five dollars a day and then as you progress 10 15 20 50 and so on and so forth it's totally dependent on how many how much traffic you get daily okay so after budget i like to go into this next section here and then go okay i'm going to cap the frequency so i like to set a limit of no more than three impressions per day just so we're not annoying people we're getting in their face but we're not over, we're not showing the same ad to the same people too many times so other than that you can totally leave the rest of this you can get into that detail later but i don't there's no reason to especially if you don't have much traffic yet so down here you're going to create your first ad group so let's just do all website traffic. So this is going to be utilizing the audience that we build in Google Analytics for all our website traffic. So we're wanting those people to come back to our store and buy from us. So just in here, if you don't remember the audience, what it's called, because it isn't sometimes as it isn't overly easy, especially if it's a new account, just go 60 days website traffic, which I've got here on this store. And then on here, this is the lookalike audience that I mentioned. So it's called, they're called similar audiences. So that's used the data of this 60 days into the similar 60 days traffic. So that's a really great way of starting your Google display ad. So first starting off with remarketing, from there going to your lookalikes, and from there you can go to cold audiences if need be. So let's just select the 60 days all website traffic as our audience. So ideas are, okay, here are some different ideas based on people that, have, that visit our store and the people that have clicked on our ads and so on and so forth of different audiences that Google has. So this is an outdoor style store. So campers and RVs is an audience that you could target as cold traffic, but let's just stick to our remarketing for now. Uh, other thing is here, you can play around with demographics, but for remarketing, let's just leave it as is. And let's select our CPC bid. For the purpose of this, let's just keep it at $1 and go from there. As you improve, you can lower that and obviously try and bring down your cost per acquisition. So if you do want to run dynamic ads, I'm not going to cover those off here, but it's just you just need to click this and then you're just going to need to set it up for that specific type of ad. But for this, let's just create an ad. We're going to create a, a blanket kind of banner ad and I'm just going to show you how to do a real basic one. Obviously, your options are you can build your own banners or get someone to build banners if you're obviously not a graphic designer. You can just use Canva or something like that to build an attractive banner. But... I recommend testing, you know, two or three different ads so you can maximize your chance of finding something that does well. Google's ad builder is very good though. So all you're going to need to do is put in your URL here. And I'm just going to, I've just selected a random camping website here. So have images and logos ready or even videos. So you can add videos to things like YouTube uh, and which will be shown across YouTube and apps and all sorts of different things. Um, and it's, this is going to show you here in the ad builder what it's going to look like. So I'm sure a lot of you actually haven't considered using this, but it's actually, it's kind of the best of both worlds. So you're utilizing the Google platform and, use, and getting features of Facebook like video and visual aspects and bringing them together. And, and that's why I say that Google is such a powerful platform. It's very cool. Definitely underutilized. If you jump on this, you're going to be way ahead of a lot of e-commerce stores, guys. Okay, so once you've got your URL there, we're going to put some images and logos here. So I've just uploaded some. You can actually use uh, ones based off your website here. So it's going to scan. You can scan your Facebook, Twitter, the actual website itself, or you can just upload images. You can use stock images, things that are recently used. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to use some stock images. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in say camping now this is going to scan the internet and find me some stock images that i can use here some of them obviously i can't if they're shutter to stock ones and things like that but i'm just going to use something like this here that's going to grab the attention of someone that's interested in the camping style products adjust it so it it fits and looks nice based on the different aspect ratios and we're going to click that and save that now let's also add in a logo and I'll upload one that I've just found off the internet, but obviously upload your logo here and select it and go use images logo. So for this, obviously it's, this is a slimline style. So I'm just gonna select it like that and go continue and save. 
And now you're gonna see the ad starting to populate here. So this is one style of uh, an example. So if someone clicks that, it's gonna bring this up here. So you might see this on different banners across different websites of the internet. You might be on some outdoor style website and this is what's gonna pop up. So this is showing you all different types of examples here of what it could look like and where. Now, our next step is gonna be adding a headline. And we might add something like, given it's a retargeting ad, you can get creative, but I like doing things like a sale. So I'll go Easter weekend or long weekend sale here we'll just call it camping world as our business name we can go from here add it you can add in up to five headlines so you can do something like easter sale up to 60 percent off and just test a few different ones or you can even do things like we've missed you come back So the long headline would I could would combine something like this together and go Easter long weekend sale up to sixty percent off. And again, you can try a few, and then from here you want to add a description as well. So camping world. So we're running our biggest tent sale of the year shop now for great deals you can just play around with that guys now if you do decide to do your own kind of image you can obviously put an overlay here and have like a 60 percent off or something like that so we've missed you come back it's got a bit of our branding there so you'd obviously want to add some kind of a logo as well to your imagery if you were building uh, your own banners, but something like this is very, very simple and a great way to bring customers back. Obviously, you can get a bit more creative than this. I'm just trying to show you nice and quickly what's a really easy way to get up and running. So as I said, you wanna add a few different ad groups and target different parts of the audience. So you could target things like people that visited your cart page, people that visited your cart page but didn't buy, smart lists that Google comes up with and all sorts of things. But for the purpose of this, let's just create this campaign. All right, and the campaign is done. That's all you need to do, guys. Obviously, the most important thing here are coming up with those great headlines, coming up with nice imagery. I just showed you how to quickly get up and running. Obviously, to get into more detail would take a lot more time, but I know you guys are creative. You're going to get into this. You're going to test a bunch of different ways to do it. You know, show banners with the actual product if you're doing product specific retargeting. Uh, you can get in and do dynamic retargeting. All of these things are possible options for you guys. The Google Display Network is huge. The Google Network is massive, guys. Get on board, use it for your e commerce stores, and you're going to see that on days where Facebook isn't doing great, Google's going to be there to pick up the slack. So just quickly, heading back over to the presentation. Here are some remarketing campaign ideas. So as I said, you can do dynamic ads, which are gonna utilize your Google shopping feed and is gonna retarget people that clicked on the products that didn't buy, reach the cart but didn't buy, things like that. But it's gonna show them just like DPA ads on Facebook, these dynamic ads are gonna show relevant products to relevant people. Really great way to remarket. The next way to utilize the display network is doing you know, sales or seasonal specials to other people that have already bought from you, people that haven't, people that have visited your website, cold traffic, things like that. There's, there's so many ways that you can actually approach the display network and, and remarketing itself. Another great way is upsells and cross sells. So you can then find products that are similar to what you've sold to people and then upsell them by showing them something similar or something that they'd be interested in. And it's, a, it's just like a bit like using one click upsell or a purchase retargeting ad, you're targeting really warm traffic with an upsell or a cross sell. So that's a great way to increase, obviously, you know, return customers, improve that average order value because uh, improve that long-term customer value because that person is buying more and more from you because you're showing them relevant products. So get creative with this, guys. I'll do a lot more on remarketing in the future, but yeah, if you get in here and play around with this, the, the sky's the limit. And just a quick note, if you're gonna make your own banners, here are the highest converting ad sizes for Google. So the 300 by 250 is by far the best one, followed by all these other ones here. So just to, just keep it in mind when you're building these that these are the top, confirm, uh, top converting ad sizes. 
Okay, that's it for me, guys. I hope you have a great Easter. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join my group, guys. Lots of good content coming out there, and would love to see you there. I'm working on some really exciting stuff for you all, so tune in for the next video, guys. See you later.